Hey guys, welcome back to the video. It's your girl. Listen, y'all, I want to get on here and talk about my job. I want to talk about what I'm going through at work and how it's making me feel. Hopefully, some of you guys can relate to what I'm about to say, but it got me ready to quit. When I tell y'all I'm ready to quit, like a nine to five is just, I'm not going to say it's not for me. I think that I have got older, so I can tolerate things less and less. So it's not, you know what I mean? Like, yo, I believe this particular job is just, it's, it's, it's not, not cool at all, y'all. So let me get into the story. Um, I have a manager. My manager is, he's a snake. He's a snake, a real snake. Since I've been there, I don't watch him fire two nurses. Two nurses. And and I mean good nurses. Good nurses, y'all. And then he comes to me and tell me, oh, I just fired so-and-so. And, and let me know that he fired them because um, they pretty much didn't uh, go by what he want to go by. See, with him, he don't want nobody to have a thought. He don't want nobody to use their brain. He wants somebody that's going to follow him to think for yourself. You're not supposed to have a thought. You're not supposed to have an idea. He wants him. He wants to run the ship the way he wants to run the ship, right? And these women have been in nursing school. These women know what they're doing. They're good nurses, y'all. And I don't like that. And like I said, he keep coming to me and telling me, oh, I just got rid of this person. And I was the deciding factor. They can have a round table and they will lead the deciding vote to him. And he will vote to get rid of these women. And that's disturbing to me. And what's more disturbing to me, that you think it's okay to come to me and tell me what you just did. And that's disturbing to me. Like, what gave you the impression that... I agree with that or I'm that cold hearted. Like I never gave this man that oppression. So I'm just like, I, I don't know when I tell y'all this man is a snake. So I was talking to my old man about it, the old man, and he was telling me, he said, Bay, either either he's trying to brag about what he did to show y'all that he, you know, he's the boss or whatever, or even he's trying to put some scare tactics into you. Because I'm too one that don't just sit back and let stuff happen. Like, nah. If I see something wrong, I'm going to call it. That's just that. I don't care. You could be my boss. You could be who you want. My heart is not going to let me. It's not going to allow me to do things that I know that's not right. So, I work with a snake. A snake. A snake. And it's to the point where I'm ready to quit. I am ready to quit. I am ready to go. I am ready to call it it for this company. I I'm ready to quit. Like when I tell y'all it bothers my soul so much. It bothers my soul. The first thing I did when I got off work was call my husband and tell him like what he just did again. Again. So it's to me it's like you're a snake. You're a snake. I don't want to be affiliated with you. I don't want to be around you. I definitely don't want to work underneath you. You're a snake and I see this. So now he has a, a girl in there working and she comes from another facility that he worked um, at before and he puts her on the floor with me. So I guess he's trying to find something on me, but there's no need. You, you don't have to. You don't have to because... My soul won't even let me stay at this place, y'all, if I want to. I'm so bothered about what he's doing to these other nurses. So, loves, let me tell y'all how he's how he's in there, right? Borrowing money from the employees. Now, he's the manager, but he's borrowing money from people that's underneath him. That's, that's against the job policies you can't do that you can't do that because now the person may feel intimidated she may feel bullied she may feel anything where she feel like she has to give you this money because you're the boss but he's borrowing money from the employees that's beneath them so 
You could be fired for that. You can be taking the HR for that. Then when the lady had asked for her money back, he had a nerve to tell her no. She said, I'm going to take you to HR. He said, prove that I borrowed money from you. That's what he told her. Prove that I borrowed money from you. And he ain't borrowing a little bit of money. He borrowed money to pay his car note. He ain't borrowing a little bit of money. So that's what I'm saying. Like, when I say this is the devil, this is the devil, and I got to get away from this, mm -mm. it don't sit right with me. It don't sit right with me at all. It don't sit right with me at all. That woman worked hard for her money, and you tell her to prove that he borrowed it from her? She said, I'm going to take you to HR. He said, you got to prove it. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Karma is who she is. She coming for him, though. She coming for him. I'm just, I just hope that I'm long gone. I don't even want to see it. I don't want to be around. I don't want to be a part of it. I just hope that I'm long gone when she comes. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm bothered. I'm really bothered about what he's doing. You know, my daughter said, Mom, he's your manager. Take him to HR. Let them know that he's coming to you, telling you about the people he just fired, why he fired them. Because that type of stuff is supposed to be confidential. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to make waves. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. I believe in karma. Karma is vicious. She's vicious. You understand? And she don't have no pics. So, I believe his time going to come around. I really do. I don't want to be in that circle. I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to be near it. When I tell you guys, my soul was bothered. My soul was truly bothered. Truly bothered when he told me these things. Like, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. And now I just feel like I can't trust nobody in there. Like, I'm not saying people's coming for me. I don't know if they are if they're not. I don't care if they are if they're not. Because I already had my mind made up. My mind is made up. I am on a hunt for another job, y'all. And I just can't do it. I don't know. It's like, it's not for me. It's not for me. Working for the devil is not for me. I can't. I'm not I'm not about to do it for no amount of money, for no amount of perks, for no amount of nothing. I'm just I'm not about to do it. I'm not about to do it. So your girl's about to be looking for another job, honey. Yeah, listen, listen, ladies, let me tell y'all something. Do not sell amen. Do not sell yourself short for these jobs. Because one thing I learned about these jobs is once they dog you out, once they finish using you, once they wear you down and you no longer no good because now your back hurts, your knee hurt, and everything else hurt, honey, they're going to move on to the next one. You're nothing but a name to them. They're going to move on to the next one. So I will not tear myself down. And now, I don't, okay, so here you go. I don't already let y'all use my, my mind and my body, right? on this job that's no good now you messing with my soul you messing with my peace you're messing with my peace yeah no some way i draw the line some way the line has to be drawn i just can't do it i can't do it i'm no longer going to work for the devil so in the meantime in the between time I'm not a fool. I got to eat. My bills got to get paid. So I'm going to be looking for something. But the minute I get it, I am leaving there. But listen, hear me out. When I leave there and when HR asks me why I'm leaving, I'm going to make it my business to tell them what I feel. I'm not going to say, oh, a better opportunity came. I'm not going to make up excuses. I'm going to tell them exactly how I feel about the place. I'm going to tell them how I feel about my manager. And if he asks me, I then will tell him how I feel about him. But right now, I got to grin and bear it. But until then, I'm just going to like... 
keep looking. I'm going to keep looking for me a job because I'm out of there. I'm out of there. Listen, let me say this. Now. The house ain't got to fall on him, him, or her. And then I'm not going to think it's not going to fall on me. He's coming for me. He's coming for me. But I'm going to beat him to the punch. Don't work for the devil, y'all. Don't do it. Bye, y'all.